What's up everybody? David here from Gearbox Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make your own beard comb. Let's go get started. I'm starting here with a piece of scrap three quarter inch maple that I had lying around the shop and I'm planing it down to around three eighths of an inch thick but you could go as low as a quarter depending on the type of wood that you're using and the design that you have. In the description of the video, I'm going to provide you with a link so you can download this image and print it out on your computer, glue it to the wood that you're using, or you could use carbon paper and trace it on. Uh, I use the vinyl cutter because it's a bit easier to just have a sticker to stick on the wood. The width of it is around three inches as a reference there, but you could make it really any size you're comfortable with. Here I'm using a 1 16th inch bit to drill out the holes in the top of the teeth. This is so you, when you cut it on the scroll saw you have a place to end. You don't have to try to make these little loops and you end up with a nice clean hole at the top of your teeth. So here I'm making myself an approximate center line. It's a reference for when I sand the teeth on the belt sander. I like to leave around a sixteenth of an inch on either side of that line. Here I'm using a drum sander on the Dremel to smooth the edges of the comb as well as the sharp corners. And here I use a chisel to gently rough out the shape of the teeth. I found that the flexible 3M sandpaper is the best for sanding the teeth round. I like to get a conical shape out of them. Uh, it makes it glide nicely through a beard. You can find that at Home Depot. And I start at 100 grit, go down to 120, and then finish off with 150. I've found that by filing in between the top of the teeth, you greatly reduce the chance of snagging your hair in there. The final step here is just choosing your finish. This is an orange oil and beeswax finish that you just rub on and then buff off later. You could use a regular paste wax or mineral oil or even polycrylic or lacquer. Any of those will work good. Well, there you have it, all done. Not too shabby, not too hard. I really like this one. Well, until next time, I'm David, keep it fresh.